I have officially opened my art shop. As you guys know, if you saw the last video, I have been struggling. I've been putting time, I've been putting so much time into opening my art shop and it's finally here. So today's video is just gonna be announcing that it's open. Uh, I'll have the link in the description to my Etsy shop and I just wanna go over showing you all the stuff I made and what's gonna be on the shop. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first I wanna show off the stickers. Uh, that's the thing I spent the most time on, cutting out, figuring out how to make and actually printing them off. And I'm gonna be having them in these little bags. We're gonna ship them in these envelopes and they have a thank you card in them. So let's show them off. So this is my thank you note. So anyone that actually purchases one will get this little thank you note. And I'm gonna be writing a little note on the back. Uh, this is just an example here, but yeah, these are, I think these are a cute idea. Give some personality, give some life to, uh, you know, what I'm trying to make. So yeah, let's quickly go over uh, exactly what stickers I've actually made. So this is gonna be a Halloween set. That's why I wanted to release it before October. Try to get people to get some spooky stickers. So a lot of them were black cats. So here's the first one. Hopefully it focuses and everything. We have this black, little long boy. It's like almost a hot dog cat is what I'm gonna call it. Super awesome, love the expression. And if you guys watched my last video of preparing for this, you'll see the thumbnails and everything. And you can see that I didn't even really like cats, but I ended up having so much fun drawing them that I just had to keep making more. And yeah, we have cats and ghosts and that's kind of our theme we're going with here. Then we got this beauty. This is one of my favorites. I love the expression. Cats just, oh, they look so good. So fun. Big eyeballs, almost look like a fish. Love it, super, super cute. Uh, this is probably my favorite sticker. It's super simple, super cute. And I call it a little wizard hat sticker and it's just super small. It'll go on anything. It go on my shirt. Looks super cool, natural. I love it. Just, I love the little tiny kick. I love it. It's just so cute and tiny. Continuing the cat era, we got the scaredy cat. I drew this one. This was pretty fun. Uh, my, we had a, we used to have an old black cat and this is, this kind of reminded me of him, honestly. Its name was Boots. And uh, yeah, this is the old scaredy cat. We got the finale of the cats. This is the vampire cat. A little spicy, a little vampire cat, a really big cape. He's a little bit darker, you know, than I would have liked, but I've tried multiple times to fix the colors. And now we're going on to not cats. We're going on to our first non-cat, which is a wizard star girl. So it's like a witch with, a, she's, uh, has a star in the background with a big hat, very cute. Uh, if I had more time to keep doing the stickers, I probably would have done a full body of her sitting on the star or something like that. But this still turned out really cute. Then we got just a little fall tree, uh, Animal Cross inspired, very round, very fun, very friendly. And yeah, I, I think this turned out really cute and it's just a fall little tree. I think it's the fall season coming upon us. Showcasing my next sticker. This is one, this is the first sticker that I actually made. It's a cauldron. And I, I'm really proud of this. I used greens. I haven't really used greens in any of the other ones. And I think this turned out great. Having the greens and the, the I don't even know what you call that, poison spilling out of the cauldron. I, I really enjoy this one. This is the first one I actually ended up making into a sticker and I'm very proud of it. Then we have your typical, you gotta have at least one in a set. We got a pumpkin. We got a pumpkin. Look at this bad boy. Very cute, very demure. Look at him. Just a nice little pumpkin. You gotta have a pumpkin in a fall Halloween sticker set. Then we got this cute bad boy. We just, a really tiny, he's a small dude. Just a cute little friendly ghost. Some might call him Casper, but that's copyrighted. So we're calling him Jasper. Then we got my second sticker I probably ever made, Spooky Love. It was two little ghosts kind of touching hands, a little heart, and I really love this one. You're a Halloween lover. I think you'd like this one too. And I don't think it turned out really cute. Woof! And this is probably one of my other favorites along with the wizard cat. This is awesome. Uh, this is, I called it Friendship Ghost on my shop. And uh, they're just so cute. Little chibi, my own OC. She's poking the ghost, the ghost poking her. It turned out so cute, I think. I'm so proud of this one. I, I really do think it turned out cute. Then we got a little candlelit ghost with a wizard hat. Turned out very cute. I love the coloring. Try to get that warm vibe to it. And I, I really think this has a unique little look to it. Candlelight ghost. And our finale, last but not least, we got a little Firefly potion bottle. Nice and blue, wanted to go for more of a colorful theme because all of them seem to be black and white and orange. So definitely a change of pace and I think it turned out really cute. 
And that right there was all the stickers that I've been working on. And I'll have you know, I put a lot of work into this. Uh, hopefully you guys like, and hopefully if you want to support, you could buy some too. I'd appreciate anything. And uh, the finale of what I'm going to be showing off, what's going to be on the shop is I have three art prints that I made in the last couple of months. And I'm very proud of them. We'll save the best for last. So first, let's start off with my first art print, which is this bad boy right here. So I don't really have titles for these yet at the time that I'm recording this, but I have to come up with one. But yeah, I love using Pinterest, use a reference, and I turned it into something cool. Gave him a sword, love the coloring. I love the blues that are used in this, just love it. I think it turned out really pretty. And this is gonna be one of the prints on the shop. Then we have, this is probably my most proud skin coloring I've ever done ever in a drawing. And bam, right here, this is probably, I honestly, I am so proud of this. It, it just, I think it turned out really beautiful, especially with the glossy look. I, I think it just looks very nice. She looks so sleek, the hair. I think it turned out really good. And I'm really proud of this one. Just a very, uh, it was a skin reference and I just love it. I wanted to turn it into a print. And last but not least, my favorite print of all time, the print that won me an award at my Century Times, my college art competition. Got a hundred bucks for it, first place right here and i think it fits the halloween theme lights of the night is the name of this piece i think it really fits the halloween vibe has the colors i love the look she did this is probably my favorite piece i've ever done and i just love the coloring i love how she's looking her just almost neutral sad almost sad expression i love it so much uh this is also going to be on the shop and yeah that's that's the three prints that i will be having on my shop and that i'm really proud of to be honest but overall, this is kind of just a quick video. I just wanted to show off what exactly is going to be in the shop. I wanted to announce that I'm my shop is open now. Uh, I know it's a couple days late. I said it was going to be Sunday. It's either going to be Monday or Tuesday as this video uploads. And yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the support. Uh, the last video, the week before video, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's all my process of how I made everything and I went into detail. And it's, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a good video. And if you guys haven't watched it, I'd love to go for you guys to go see it. And that video did really well. We got 400 views, which for me on this channel is amazing. I don't even get like 10 views. So 400 is great. A lot of positive comments. I appreciated them all. And yeah, thank you guys very much for uh, supporting me and putting something that I love, which is art into a little shop. And hopefully you guys will check it out. So I'll be seeing you in the next video. If you guys have any more fun ideas to do anything, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys very much. And like always, I love you.